cranberries are one of just a handful of fruits that are native to North America. Before the Europeans arrived, the Indians used them for food and medicine. The cranberry vine is well suited to a harsher climate. It thrives in low temperatures and loves acidic soil that's scarce in nutrients. Cranberries are ripe for the picking in late September. At harvest time, farmers flood their fields to make the cranberries float to the surface. Then they use a machine called a beater. It generates underwater turbulence, pulling the berries off the vines. The beater is suspended from a mobile bridge that's computer-guided to systematically work its way through the entire field. The beater cuts a swath about seven meters wide with each sweep. Workers move the floating cranberries to one corner of the field where a pump transfers them to a waiting truck. Along the way, the berries get a preliminary rinsing to remove branches and leaves. At the factory, the truck unloads its cargo. The cranberries travel along a water canal and onto a conveyor belt then through a cleaning station where workers use brushes and water jets to get rid of any remaining leaves and branches. Then they dump the cranberries into large bins to be frozen for up to several months. To produce cranberry juice, they defrost the frozen berries in hot water, then mash them, skin, seeds and all, into a puree. They add special enzymes to break up the pectin molecules, making the puree less viscous and therefore easier to press. The press processes eight tons of puree at a time. That's the weight of one and a half elephants. It takes three to four pressing cycles to extract all the juice. The juice then goes through a sophisticated filtration system. The 216 filters remove any plant particles or bacteria larger than one micron. A micron is a thousand times smaller than a millimeter. Then they evaporate the water until the juice is ten times more concentrated. Cranberries not destined for juice go through a grading process. Undersized berries drop down through the holes of a giant sifter. The bigger cranberries move on to the grading table where workers remove any that are substandard. An electronic sorter then scans the remaining cranberries for color, signaling an air gun to blow any reject berries off the production line. The rest move on to the packaging department or continue down the line to be dried. Cranberries destined for drying are automatically seeded, cut in half and pressed, then soaked in a sugar and water solution to make them sweeter. The side-to-side -side motion of the conveyor belt spreads the berries thinly so that they'll dry evenly. The hot air dryer subjects them to temperatures varying from 30 to 80 degrees Celsius. After about three hours, the cranberries come out looking like this. As you sip your cranberry tea, ponder this. Cranberries are a source of potassium and vitamins A and C, and drinking cranberry juice can prevent and treat urinary tract infections.